The Ministry of Defense of Russia reported that it shot down 108 Ukrainian drones, 51 of which were over Crimea, 44 over the Krasnodar territory, 6 in the Black Sea, the same number over the Belgorod region and one over the Kursk region. If Russian military data is correct, this is likely the largest number of drones fired into Russian-controlled regions in one night. As a result of the attack, problems with light began in Sevastopol, and the Twops oil refinery also caught fire. As a result of the attack in Crimea, the Sevastopol electrical substation was damaged, said Sevastopol Governor Mikhail Razvozev. According to him, while repairs are underway, the city will face power shortages and spot blackouts. Therefore, the authorities cancelled classes in schools and secondary specialized educational institutions, and also stopped the work of kindergartens. In addition, the NetBlocks monitoring service has recorded serious problems with the internet in the city. In the Krasnodar territory, the Twops oil refinery was attacked. The regional operational headquarters reported that a fire broke out at the plant, but it was contained. There were no casualties. The Astra Telegram channel, citing local residents, wrote that the port in Novorossiysk was cut off from power. A resident of Novorossiysk said that he heard more than 30 explosions during the night. In the Belgorod region, a drone attacked a car in the village of Oktyabrsky, said the regional governor, Vyacheslav Gladkov. As a result, a woman and a four-year-old child died. The last massive drone strike took place on April 27 and was aimed at the Krasnodar region. Then, according to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the region was attacked by 66 UAVs, and the work of the Slavyansk oil refinery was partially stopped. The latest shelling may indicate an intensification of Ukrainian air attacks on Russian regions and Crimea against the backdrop of Russia's offensive in the Kharkov region.